and go to the altar of God, even to the God of my joy and my peace. On the clouds of heaven, O oh God, the human being has passed into your glory, and our human nature has is made one with you. Set our hearts on Christ and clothe our lives with his power from on high, that Christ may continue to work through the witness and worship of your people until you bring that work to fullness that is returning glory. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, who is one with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us go and offer worship to the Lord our God, through Jesus Christ our Saviour, in the power of the Holy Spirit. God has gone up with a shout, the, the Lord with, with the, the sound, sound of a trumpet. trumpet, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And also with you. A happy feast day to you all. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, for forty days we have been celebrating with joyful hearts the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, his bursting forth from the tomb, and his defeat of the power of sin and death. He appeared to his disciples many times and told them about the kingdom of God. Today we recall how he left earth and returned to his Father, ascending into heaven to take his throne over all dominions and powers. Trusting in his reign over all creation and submitting to his kingly yet loving rule, let us hear the story of his parting. The Ascension Reading While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia! Seeing we have a great high priest, who has passed through the heaven, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us offer him praise, worthy of his name. Glory, Glory to God, God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, 
you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray that our risen and ascended Christ will lead us to eternal life. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we, in heart and mind, may also ascend and with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus. I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So, when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Lord has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All nations shall come and worship you, O Christ, and share in the feast of your kingdom. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O ruler of the nations. Who shall not revere and praise your holy name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship in your presence. For your just dealings have been revealed. To, to the, the one, one who sits on the throne and to the, the Lamb. Be blessing and honour and glory and might forever and ever. Amen. All nations shall come and worship you, O Christ, and share in the feast of your kingdom. An 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Go, make disciples of all nations, says the Lord. Remember that I am with you always to the end of the age. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms, must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the Scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my Father promised. So stay here in the city, until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them, and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him, and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us together affirm our faith in God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We, we believe, believe in, in one, one God, God, the Father, Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us join our prayers with those of our Saviour Christ, seeking the Father's blessing and the gifts of the Spirit. Jesus Christ, great High Priest, living forever to intercede for us, intercede for us. pray for the Church your broken body in the world. Lord, hear us. 
Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, King of Righteousness, enthroned at the right hand of the Majesty on high. Pray for the world and make it subject to your gentle rule. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Son of Man, drawing humanity into life, into the life of God. Pray for your brothers and sisters in need, distress, or sorrow. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, pioneer of our salvation, bringing us to glory through the de your death and resurrection. Surround with your saints and angels those who have died, trusting your promises. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Lord over all things, ascended far above the heavens and filling the universe. Pray for us, who receive the gifts you give us for work in your service. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, keep the church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace, and bring the whole created order to worship at your feet. For you are alive and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Jesus says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. If you love me, rejoice, because I am going to the Father. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Blessed be God, by whose grace creation is renewed, by whose love heaven is opened, by whose mercy we offer our sacrifice of praise. Blessed be God forever. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, the King of glory, born of a woman, he came to rescue our human race. Dying for us, he trampled death and conquered sin. By the glory of his resurrection, he opened the way to life eternal. 
and by his ascension. He gave us the sure hope that where he is, we may be also. Therefore, the universe resounds with Easter joy, and with choirs of angels we sing forever to your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Christ is the bread of life. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us into the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord through him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise, blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Looking for the coming of his kingdom as our Saviour taught us. So we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, we died with you on the cross. Now we are raised to new life. We were buried in your tomb. Now we share in your resurrection. Live in us that we may live in you. I heard the voice of a great multitude crying, Alleluia. The Lord our God has entered into his kingdom. 
Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Alleluia. the bread of heaven. God, our Father, <coughs> you have raised our humanity in Christ and have fed us with the bread of heaven. Mercifully grant that, nourished with such heavenly blessings, we may set our hearts in the heavenly places through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We thank you, Lord, that you have fed us in this sacrament united us with Christ, and given us a foretaste of the heavenly banquet, prepared for all peoples. Amen. Then the disciples returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath stay journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. They were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. As we wait in silence, make, make us ready, ready for, for your coming, coming spirit. As we listen to your word, make, make us ready, ready for your coming, coming spirit. As we worship you in majesty, make, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your refreshing, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your renewing, make, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your equipping, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your empowering, make, make us, us ready for your, your coming spirit. God the Father, who has given to his Son the name above every name, strengthen you to proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord. Amen. Amen. God the Son, who is our great who are 
as our great high priest passed into heavens, plead for you at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Amen. God, the Holy Spirit, who pours out his abundant gifts on the church, make you faithful servants of Christ our King. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Waiting expectantly for the promised Holy Spirit, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace and, and rise, rise in, in glory. glory. Amen. Amen. Joy to you, O Queen of Heaven. Alleluia. He whom you were meet to bear. Alleluia. As he promised has arisen. Alleluia. Pour for him to us our prayer. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. O God, who by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, has given joy to the whole world, grant that with the prayers of his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.